Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So on today's video I'm super excited to show you some uh, behind the scenes footage from the Pioneer server uh, and for the new event uh, All Out War. So first of all I want to say a big thanks to the developer team for allowing us the Chroniclers to have uh, early access and some new accounts uh, for this new event. Uh, and I want also to mention that since it's uh, Pioneer content, everything is subject to change. Uh, and I think there are going to be a lot of changes and um, balancing on this event. Because uh, always, uh, since the first iteration of an event, there will always be some uh, balancing stuff to make it uh, obviously more enjoyable uh, for everyone. So let's get started on uh, Allot War. Uh, it's going to be a mix between uh, the Sins of Winterfell event and the Glorious Battle. Uh, we're going to have the RTS style of battle from Sins of Winterfell, which is really familiar for us. I think it's the 10th season that we had this time. Uh, and also we're going to have the Glorious Battle elements, where we're going to have some big cities uh, with some uh, other supporting cities and uh, also the familiar cities that uh, we know, for example, the gates and stuff. So it's uh, really similar, the buildings here are really similar to the Glorious Battle, uh, where we've got the, the gates uh, or the military cities where you can uh, deploy from and the defensive buildings that are going to give you some uh, bonus stats. So first of all, I want to say that uh, this event really blew my mind. Uh, I legit say that it could actually be a standalone game uh, since uh, the map is so huge and there are many opportunities uh, for player to have fun. So on uh, this event, since there is a huge map, uh, there is always something to do. So if you are a really active player, uh, you can move around, uh, attack cities, uh, you can attack villages where they are really important because uh, you have to connect uh, its village so you can uh, attack the great city that uh, is around so you have to always attack villages it's usually like four to five villages and then uh, you attack a big city but you can also gather resources that are really vital uh, for your team because you are going to be able to upgrade some buildings uh, to use them on the battlefield uh, and also on the support role where you can actually get some uh, uh, wagons where you can uh, call them as medic wagons where you can move them around the battlefield and uh, heal your uh, troops and your allied troops as well uh, and here actually uh, all at war is going to really reward uh, supportive players because uh, as it seems uh, right now or at least on the pioneer server the rewards for the support role are actually going to be uh, much better uh, than if you are the guy that goes out and attack everything. So since it's a 24-7 event, uh, or it seems like it's going to be like that, uh, there's going to be free roam for every pair around uh, the map to set up some defenses maybe for the next day uh, on some villages that they could actually be plundered from uh, other teams. Uh, but they can also, you know, stay some uh, uh, back uh, line of your team and get some resources and start helping upgrading the buildings or building the wagons uh, necessary for the stuff that I said before. <laughs> I'm really afraid how everyone is going to coordinate uh, for this event uh, because in my opinion it seems like uh, there's going to be a huge coordination uh, in order to be successful on this event because I think it's, if there is uh, like 16 alliances uh, on a single uh, faction we're already talking about one half thousand players with three marches is that uh, it's going to be up to 4,000 marches uh, at any time so it's not going to be easy but uh, honestly I think that is going to be uh, very fun uh, I will show you on the screen uh, right now and uh, as you are going to be able to see the supportive role for healing uh, your troops 
he's going to reward you with some uh, locking stones where they're really hard to find uh, in the main game so as it seems the rewards are going to be really good and for people that are going to be more active there's going to be also a small shop uh, where you can actually uh, I think the big reward for this event is going to be the Carvas uh, weapon or crown on this case uh, where it's going to increase his uh, 4 star ability uh, for the auto attack uh, formations so I don't think I can cover everything in a 6 minute video for uh, All Out War so I'm going to make some more videos um, talking about the the weapon systems the wagons, the troop types because we're going to have some different troop types here uh, every troop type can be upgraded uh, the bows can shoot further the infantry can tank more and so on so a lot of stuff need a separate video because this uh, was going to be like <laughs> a 3 hour video of its own so for this short review of the All Out War uh, I'm honestly gonna say that I'm really impressed with uh, what com this company made uh, and I'm sure we are going to have tons of fun uh, on this new event and also we're going to have tons of fails as well uh, because um, it has a lot of depth and I'm sure people uh, are going to struggle at first but we always struggle with new events uh, but in the end we always figure out how to make the most out of it so that's about everything for a quick uh, review of uh, my Peon Pioneer uh, test uh, that I had the last two days. Uh, I'm only gonna say that this event looks really promising. So thanks for watching guys, I, I hope I didn't uh, bore you enough <laughs> in this video and I see you on the next one. And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire